The MAP test is unlike any other exam your child has taken at school. By the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to help your child succeed on this test. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Minna from Test Prep Online. This video is about MAP growth, a widely spread standardized test designed for kindergarten through 12th grade students. This test assesses reading, language usage, math, and for some grades, general sciences. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video, as I'm going to give you some helpful tips on how to effectively prepare your child for this test. The MAP test is adaptive, which means that the difficulty level of the test changes throughout the test according to your child's ability. This test starts with a question that matches students' grade level. Each time your child answers correctly, the following question becomes more difficult. If your child answers incorrectly, the next question gets easier. This is why the MAP test is unlike any other standardized test your child has ever taken, and why it's so important to be familiar with the test format and changing difficulty level before the test day. The MAP test measures students' progress so that teachers can pinpoint the weaker areas they need to work on as well as the stronger areas where they need to be challenged. Additionally, this test can be used to compare a group of students in the same classroom to predict individual achievements and to determine readiness for the next semester. As mentioned before, the MAP growth test covers four main areas, reading, language usage, math, and for higher grades, general sciences. This test uses a variety of question types, such as multiple choice, fill in the blanks, and drag and drop answers. Scores for the MAP test are reported using the RIT scale. This scale measures the value of a student's score in relation to his or her scores on previous tests. So this scale can be used to measure progress and academic growth from year to year. MAP test questions receive their RIT values after being tested on thousands of students across the US. The numerical RIT value that a student receives predicts that they are likely to answer about 50% of the questions correctly at that specific difficulty level. Now let's go over the three main sections of the MAP test. The math section on this test covers a specific list of topics ranging from basic to advanced math, while including algebra, geometry, computation, statistics, and more. Does your child feel a little anxious about the MAP math section? Not to worry, that's quite normal. Math anxiety affects approximately a quarter of the population and starts appearing as early as first grade. From our experience, we know that with the correct amount of practice and motivation, your child can overcome any mathematical doubts he or she may have. The MAP language usage section assesses students based on their writing strategies, writing application and style, mechanics, and grammar. The last part of the MAP test we're going to cover in this video is the MAP reading section. The reading section measures one's knowledge of different types of writing forms and ability to analyze paragraphs to correctly draw on main ideas, concepts, and themes. To improve your child's reading writ scores, we recommend helping them become an active reader. Actively reading means keeping yourself focused on the main goals of the text and searching for the main purpose of each paragraph. This skill is absolutely vital for reading comprehension questions. Good news, the MAP test is untimed, but watch out, there is a catch. After submitting an answer, your child will not be allowed to view it again. So, it's important that your child carefully read all the instructions and check answers before submitting them. This way, they can avoid misunderstanding a question and answering incorrectly. If you'd like to get more MAP sample questions, expert tips, and tailored test preparation, make sure to visit our dedicated MAP pages. That's all for today, I hope you've learned and enjoyed, and now it's time to start practicing. Thanks for watching and good luck.